I think so staying with us. Now, yesterday, our co-anchor, Lamy, took her story on the governor of Lagos State, Mr. Babajide Sonu, saying that about 24,000 students haven't returned back to school. So we want to review school resumption today, asking a few questions. One, compliance of schools. Number two, students understanding and uh, complying to the, the COVID-19 guidelines. Then the role of government monitoring, uh, government monitoring bodies in ensuring safety of the children. And finally, um, parents' compliance. Those are the four key areas we want to be focusing on today. Now, please let us share what you have to say. Remember, you can join this conversation. Tweet at us at WayShowAfrica1 with the hashtag WayShow. Or send us an SMS or WhatsApp to 81 8038 So I'm going to bring in our guests like in one minute or two, but I just wanted to quickly hear from EC. How has it been so far between Monday and today that schools have resumed? Um, to be candid, I, you know, I told you I'm in the private space, so mm. I don't go to school every day. Yeah. So I'm yet to resume. I, I should be in school by next week, though. Okay, so next but for now, I do not know mm. how the school system has been. Okay. But with the resumption of school, it, like I said um, before, that it has a lot of mixed feelings for a lot of us as parents, as teachers or educators, and also as pupils or learners in school. So we have a situation where... Um, you, you have to look for a way to adapt to the situation in school in terms of are we keeping to the protocols, are yeah, we taking so precaution, are precautionary yeah, measures absolutely. in school, mm -hmm. basically, and how well do we um, as educators make our students or learners understand the gravity of absolutely. what COVID-19 really about. is. Fantastic. All right, so let me come to Tammy. Are you there? Yes, I am. So what do you think? You know, do you, have you um, encountered anyone you know, in the teaching space and what the compliance is like? No, I mean, I don't know what it is like. I would just, I look forward to a conversation where With I learn from um, All right, so let me just bring in, in our state. guest. Dr. Vera James is a leading global consultant, speaker, researcher, coach with expertise, uh, expert insight on educational and organizational strategies. And we have Akala Yusuf Lukman. He is the General Secretary, Lagos State National Association of um, Proprietors of Private Schools. Ah, you know, when you're with teachers, you'll be speaking baby grammar. So he's joined <laughs> us live in studio. Thank you so much for joining us. So I'll come to Dr. Brian in a short while. But I wanted to, I wanted to hear mm. you. You are, you are someone that is in, uh, overseeing a lot of private schools, right? You know, generally, the, the notion that we believe that, um, we, we believe that private schools are ready. Private schools have been ready, you know. So tell us, uh, is this correct for all private schools? Um, <laughs> thank you for joining us again. <laughs> thank you, uh, and uh, thank you, Isio. Uh, let me first of all um, appreciate the government of uh, the Lagos State Governor, uh, Governor Babajite Sohulu, the Lagos State Commissioner for Education, um, Dr. Mrs. Um, Polashade, <laughs> and then the, the Lagos State PS for Education, Mrs. Adelaja. Right. They, I must tell you that they have been involved seriously okay. in the resumption of school. Okay. Um, if you remember, we, we went on lockdown since March 27th, and I must tell you that it was, that was in the first wave. It was not easy to be on lockdown for more than six months. Mm. During that period, teachers were not paid, parents were roaming about, a lot of things are happening, those that are the teenagers, they were doing all they like. Then all of a sudden, we had to resume mm -hmm. in September. Mm -hmm. And we had to put a lot of things in place because we are all, we are all tired. We all know that students that were not learning. No learning was taking place, everything was in comatose and so, what do we do? We, my association, led by the national president, um, um, Chief Yomi Utubela, and then the Lagos State President, Chief Hamsa uh, Lawale. Now, the two of them came together and they worked out with the ESCOs and worked out something good for our association. What did they do? We met at strategic um, meetings, we met at strategic conferences, and then we agreed. What do we put in place? The government have brought out their own protocols. We agreed on our own. These are what we are going to put in place mm. to make sure that at least we are ready for that resumption as at that time. Mm. Part of it was that the state government, Lagos State government provided uh, uh, fumigation mm. for schools, 
Mm. And then, for, uh, as a private sector, if you are not satisfied with what the state provided, you have to do your own too. Okay. Mm. So that, and, and apart from that, we the the uh, the PPE, the um, non-medical uh, protocols okay. are to be put in place. Mm. And we ensure that all our schools, all schools under NAPS, also did that. In fact, NAPS Lagos State, NAPS Lagos State has a monitoring team on its own. Okay. That, okay. That, Awesome. Sorry, let me just quickly bring in because she's holding. I'll get let me you bring there. in Doctor. We'll come yes, back to you absolutely. because you are already giving us the <laughs> Doctor Vera. Thank you so much for joining us again. Thank you. Thank you for having me. So, um, I just Good wanted evening. to get a, a, a quick summary as well. What you think the resumption has been like? You know, if we want to review resumption in terms of compliance from parents, compliance from schools. And also, com and understanding from the children, the point for, of the puppies themselves, understanding the gravity of COVID and their compliance. How has that been? Oh, well, <laughs> um, we're looking at two, two sectors here. I, I, many times when we talk about things like this, we try to um, concentrate so much on the pri private sector. Mm -hmm. And then there's something about the private sector we have the private sector upper class. We have the private sector middle, lower mm. class. So now I agree that um, with you, when you said something about private schools being ready, you may be correct. However, what proportion of private schools are really, were, were really ready for resumption? That's another question. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is the first week. I think it's too fast, it's too early to begin to talk about um, um, how, how it has been. But I've been to one or two, um, a few schools, and in honesty, some private schools are adhering to this. Many private schools I know haven't resumed full time. Teachers are on site, doing the um, everything online they have schooling. to do to ensure that um, learning takes place online or on site. When children come in next week with staggered resumptions and all and resumption and all that, okay, that's fine. But there are some schools still that. Even children still share masks. This is something that I saw recently. Even um, I, I spoke to a teacher like two or three days ago on Tuesday, and she, she called me and she says, I think I am tired of teaching in Nigeria. And I'm like, what, what? I was like, what is the issue? What, why, why? I, I understand that quite a number of teachers are getting tired. So I asked the question, what, what exactly are you talking about? Today? And she says, even in our school, it's a public school now, by the way. Children are sharing masks just because. So I think that beyond... The, I, I like theory, uh, th that's what I, I did in school, but what is the practice right now? What are we doing in school? This is first week, first day was fine, maybe. Second day was fair. On the third day, in fact, yesterday was in quite a number of schools, and as I speak, I'm speaking public and private. Mm -hmm. Now I've observed something again in Lagos, they were, we're talking Lagos. These things are working in some public schools and not all. And when we say some, we have some public schools in Lagos who have like 30 children in class. Yes, that's true. But you have some who, okay, for the staggered resumptions, and they now have like maybe 14, 15. But there are still schools who had like 60, 70. Now they have 30 in the same small room. So there is no physical distancing in any way ah. in some schools in, yes, yes. There is no physical distancing in some schools as that now. So I was asking myself recently, now, if we're doing this on the third day, on the second day of resumption, what happens on the second mm -hmm. week? Remember that hmm. humans, we are naturally um, inclined to relaxing. That's the mm -hmm. truth. You know, everybody's excited. Okay, maybe so, some schools will say, oh, the commissioner is coming tomorrow. I, I like what, to an extent, in some places, they keep telling their teachers, the commissioner is coming tomorrow, and then the commissioner will not appear. And that's true. Teachers are trying to keep... Um, keep them on their toes. Um, to the... Yeah. Yes. However, she will not come. So it's okay, she'll come tomorrow. Now, how long would that last for? Let's go beyond someone is coming to check on you. Let's exactly. begin to talk to our minds. This is beyond always... put on your mask. Mm. Some teachers have their masks here. Mm. Some have their, some children. Um, okay, look at um, some children on this. Have you tried looking at commuters, students mm. going to school? It, 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 it's a lot. I, I would say that um, government in some states are doing quite a number of things. I, I, I would agree with um, Mr. Abdul. I don't know if I'm getting Mr. Yusuf, name. yeah. Um, Mr. When he Yusuf. talked about, when he talked about 
government of the, the, the um, Lagos State government. I think they are doing quite a number of things. Of course, they can do more. Absolutely. But this is just one state out of the many. Mm. If I was going to say that, you know, it is okay for us to say so private we, schools. It, there are mushroom are schools. That's, that's what mm. I think. Mm. I said there are some private schools that are mushroom schools that it's like two bedroom but apartments. Even at that, there are still some you mushroom know? schools yes. that are well organized. No, 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 as no, no, well. no. Those ones, there's no room for social uh -huh. physical distancing there. You know, <laughs> there's no some. Well, let's, let's, let me let me take your question. You see, they're still very. You know, okay. Now you talked about. um you talked about the fact that you are already going out to monitor schools. Yes. And that's a plus for Lagos State and NAPS as well. That's for but NAPS. Who does this? Who is in charge of this? Who are we going to hold accountable and say, okay, this is the organization or this is the individual that inspects the schools, that makes sure that quality control oh, is being um, taking place in that school? And we also have to look at how are the schools properly um, monitored. Okay, thank you. You see, um, mm. on behalf on the part of the state government, mm. uh, on Monday, the day of resumption, I understand the the commissioner herself visited. That Dr. Mr. Officer visited uh, Lagos School. That is the school of the national president for NAPS. Mm. Okay. She went there with her team, and they inspected uh, the protocols that they have in place. And at the end of the day. She had to give kudos to him for putting those things in place. And I must tell you, that's a replica of what we find in all NAP schools. Because our quality, the, the, for, for the so you public you find school, the schools, if they, do not, if they do not put in those, proto, those uh, measures in measures place, in do you place. find them? When you say that that is a replica of the standard of all NAP schools, so is there a fine if they do not put those protocols in place? Yes. Okay. There's a fine. And also, the, the, the logic is that for all NAP schools in Lagos State, this item had been provided at our sectariat to be purchased by NAP schools. Hmm. If you hmm. go there, there there's, there's automatic uh, uh, and dispenser. Word, dispenser. Yeah. There's, uh, we also have... Uh, uh, talk of the protocols. Mm. Talk of the, 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 the You will Everything find them there. there. Okay. You find them there, and they even if included the, the thermometer. Hmm. We sell okay. thermometer, and before I must tell are those at discounted prices? They are. Okay. I must okay. also let you know that even before the protocols, hmm. do you know that we had seminar for our members before hmm. resumptions? Hmm. We had seminar for our members to tell them these are these are these are things that you see have to follow. Hmm. The quality assurance department of Lagos State Government are meant to go around schools under legal state to make sure that this has been built. NAPS on his own and now have his own it's quality own. assurance team in each of the local government. How often are they supposed to do this? How often this are they check, supposed yeah. to go around the schools to ensure that this is being carried out by there, There's no specific time. Hmm. But they started this week and they moved from schools to school till they finish the school in that local Sorry. government. Hmm. Then they come around again. Oh, OK. Let me come to Temi. Well, so I was just going to say that, um, I mean, listening to the second speaker's thoughts on this, I just feel concerned, really. I just feel concerned for schools that are not, um, they're not too expensive. And you know what I mean, private schools. Yeah, that that's, are, that's what I call them. They are little schools. cost and then they are not too affordable. Because, I mean, for the expensive school, you can afford for a child to have a face mask, a nose mask every day and come in and have your, all of these things. But for those ones that they are barely trying to even um, get the school fees and all of those things, hmm. then to put all this pressure, I mean, to be a student at this point must be a lot. I was just going to ask him about retraining, and I'm glad he touched on it a bit. But is there, I know there's some training, but is there, how often is there going to be retraining? Because... The second speaker spoke about sensitizing, you know, people as well. She touched on it a bit. Is there going to be some retraining? Is there a structure in place so that this knowledge of um, how to how teachers should go about this, especially at this time, you know, it's something that is constantly with them. It's not just a one-time thing that eventually we get used to it and we forget. So is there a plan for retraining? Okay. All right, please so, let us in on that. Yeah, so we are going to take that um, answer, but we'll just take a very short break. When we return, we'll continue the conversation. Stay with us. We'll be right back.